If you didn't follow the NBA during the regular season, you probably weren't aware of the jump that John ja Morant has made in his game. Last night, he put all those skills on display. The Grizzlies were down double digits, less than seven minutes to go. John ja Morant scored 18 in the fourth quarter, leading the Grizz past the Timberwolves. He'd finished with 13 rebounds, nine assists, and 30 points. And if that wasn't enough, he had an unbelievable dunk that sounded like this. Brooks, I have, that's the play of the day. The game-winning layup is what I have. Oh. oh. Well, that would have been great. It would have seemed like we had planned this out. My bad. Maybe next time John Moran has one of the best dunks in the past generation. Yeah. You yeah. can hear that. That was really just a tease what yeah. you were doing yeah. for 40 minutes. Yeah, Marv. But that's play of the day. Yeah, I know. But oh, okay. I, I could have still played it and then had it as play of the day. How about we reenact it? Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. How do I do? You want to do play by play, and then we could be the uh, character yeah. actors. Are you going to be the crowd? It's it. It would have sounded something like this: John Rand in the lane over Malik B. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's one of the greatest postseason dunks ever. You got to get in. A, I mean, are you <laughs> kidding me? Board center top ten. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic reenactment of a uh, plays. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yeah. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah. I don't believe what I just saw. Half man, <laughs> half bird. <laughs> that was Vince Carter like. I know everybody's going crazy over this dunk. And look, it's a great dunk. It's a it's a postseason dunk. Uh, but you're they want to call it the greatest dunk they've ever seen. And I just would say, maybe not. There's a few other ones. And and the reason why I would probably bring in other dunks there. Uh, you know, for arguing points. When you dunk on somebody, you truly dunk on them is when they go up to try to block your shot. When John Starks dunked, and that was on all the Bulls, that's a big dunk. KJ, Kevin Johnson dunked on Akeem Olajuwon, one of the two or three best defensive players of all time. And Kate. KJ is, you know, giving up eight inches there to Akeem Olajuwon. That was a great dunk. There have been so many great dunks. Now, John Morant cocking and pulling and, uh, you know, with, with the dunk. You know, Malik Beasley is just standing there, and he just jumps over him. I mean, it's not like Vince Carter jumped over a seven-footer Frederick Weiss and dunked in the Olympics. But this is... You know, it's a great play, explosive play, but also help them win the game. That's the most important part with this. But there are so many dunks in NBA history and even postseason history where somebody challenges you. That's when you dunk on somebody. You dunk over. John Morant dunked over Malik Beasley. He didn't dunk on him. He dunked over him. Yeah, Paul. Did you say in the morning meeting you would consider calling a charge on John? I would have. I would have. Oh. Can you imagine? <laughs> and send it the other way. Oh, we're Bless looking kill. at the we're looking at the video, and I go, "Is that a charge?" And Seaton goes, "You can't call a charge there." <laughs> yes. can, can we reenact what that call would sound like? Because yeah. the crowd would be vastly different. Okay. All right. John Morant down the lane and dunk on the ball. Oh, oh no! They called a charge. Boo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, John Moran is just 22 years of age. You know, you're just seeing somebody emerge as a star. You know, when he came into the league, and I, I think our question was, would you rather have Zion or John Morant? And I said John Morant because I thought that I could get longevity out of him. I thought Zion's body would turn on him. And, well, we've seen some of that. Plus, John Morant's more exciting when you think about it. John Morant in game, I still think the best highlight that he's had of his career, when he went up to block that shot, like he went up and, and caught it. And I thought, oh my God, it, it looked like, you know, where you're seeing CGI, where you're going, I, that little guy just went up and at the top of the square and you know, he didn't block a shot, he, he caught a shot. That to me was, you know, as impressive, if not more so than this dunk that he had last night. But, you know, you look around the NBA you know, they're in good hands with young talent here. Minnesota is a fun team. 
you know, they're they're on, they're kind of on the verge of being maybe like Memphis. And here's another thing. John Moran is not the most improved player in the NBA. He won the award. Desmond Bain, his his teammate who nobody knew. That's the guy who deserved most improved. John Moran is a great player. You know? Yes, Marv. Can we stop with giving the most improved players to lottery picks? <laughs> Like, <laughs> John Moran right. was the second overall pick. I know. Yeah, where I did, agree. Where did Desmond Bain go to school? Okay, me neither. I don't know. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know who could get most improved next year? A former number one pick, <laughs> Ben Simmons. He played 82 more games yes. than he did the previous season. <laughs> ben most Sim- improved. I'm already starting the campaign. Ben Simmons, most improved player next year. 